Hello everyone, this is Cheryl from the Web3 Passport and today we have Mariana with us. Mariana, uh, you are a content and community lead with Bonfire and we are meeting today in the Ethereum Dublin conference day two and it's the Ireland's first Web3 hackathon that's organized by Ethereum Dublin in Dogpatch Labs. So welcome Mariana. Thank you, good and to be here. Yeah, so nice to have you here. So you come from Portugal and is it your first time visiting Dublin? So it's my second time in Dublin. First time I was here was many, many moons ago. And um, Dublin felt like a very different city. So it wasn't really, it didn't enter its startup phase yet. Right. And when was that? How long was that? Your first this visit? was probably, I'm going to yeah. say maybe like 10 years ago. Wow. Almost yeah. a decade. Yes, uh, definitely. Oh, there's so much that has happened, especially in the startup space, in the blockchain and Web3 mm -hmm. space. It's uh, it, Dublin is budding so fast and there are so many opportunities now. Yeah, the yeah. city feels really alive. Yeah. Right. And how did you feel after you arrived yesterday? What do you feel? Oh, I about? came directly from yeah. the airport. Oh, okay. yeah. And it came uh, straight yeah. to dog patch. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a really nice arrival because the weather yeah. has been awesome. Oh, so nice. I wasn't expecting it. So I yeah. bought my rain boots and raincoat. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a nice surprise. That's very nice. And how are you feeling here in Ethereum Dublin conference and the campus? How does it look like in Dogpatch Lab? Good. Yeah. The Dogpatch is incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just like the structure of, yeah. of it is really beautiful. A lot of natural light. It's a nice, yeah. really convenient location as well. Right. It's nice to like walk yeah. outside. I even before my um, workshop yeah. earlier today, I had like a little 10 minute meditation just by the sun. So wow. it's been a good morning. That's very nice to know. So you have just spoken about the workshop and we are all ears to know about your workshop on Bonfire and how did it go and the vision that you wanted to communicate with the hackers and the audience. Yeah. Tell us about it. Sure. Yeah. So uh, um, we had a 30 minute workshop where I was walking through how to create your own site on Bonfire. So Bonfire okay. is a no code site builder for creators, communities, um, brands, DAOs who have either NFTs or social tokens and they want to do cool things with their digital assets. So I really just, it was a, a walkthrough of the, the features that I find the most interesting in the platform. So we created a page uh, with audio content natively token gated that page. Uh, I showed them how to have um, threads, which is our chat functionality. What else did we do? looking at community insights. So we have a little bit of a CRM, so you're able to see who your collectors are or your subscribers or your members. Interesting. Um, and yeah, and token gating, um, it's like all of the, the extensive ways that you can token gate content on Bonfire and then the changing the appearance of your site. So you can customize it also to your brand. Interesting. So tell, about, tell us about your users. Are they just NFT uh, artists right now? Or, uh, you know, what, what kind of users do we have of Bonfire at sure. this moment? So right now we have a lot of creators and specifically musicians. And a lot of them are launching music NFTs and then they're token gating uh, with those collections. So they're token gating uh, content, they're token gating maybe uh, samples or unreleased music, um, Discord. So that's really mostly the audience, but we have other kinds of creators as well. So we have writers on the platform as well. We have multidisciplinary artists. So people who are bridging, who maybe are like painters in Web2, but then are also digital artists and they're bringing everything over onto Bonfire. And then we also have communities. So one example is actually ETH Dublin uh, set up a bonfire site uh, because you guys are distributing a lot of pops and uh, NFTs. So there's going to be a lot of token gated content that's going to be hosted on bonfire. That's very interesting that uh, one of your clients uh, and the supporting organization is a Dublin. And where, where where Bonfire team wants to go? What's the future vision looks like? What's the main, you know, excitement that you want to create in Web3 space? Yeah, so yeah. we want to make it really easy to onboard more people into Web3. And we're looking specifically at the creator space. Current challenges yeah. of like the product building? The product building. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I think that the challenge is how do we make how do we make Web3, Web2 friendly? So even the language that we use, you know, like right now we have this, because we've made the tweak to wallets, we're thinking, well, what do we call wallets? You know, what do we, what do we call things? Is there a way to say Web3 without saying Web3, without saying crypto, without using the word uh, blockchain? So I think um, the communication of things is, is a barrier because we just don't have the language for it yet. And then, uh, and then there's just blockchain things are complicated. So even when you're using them, how how can we really simplify things to to the degree that actual like the technical part can come along with you? Right. And and how the uh, people who are who don't have full technical expertise to use blockchain and Web three product can use it. And there is a huge market for that. If we look at emerging markets, that's there are many people there who might not be technically um, accustomed to different the way of using these new technologies. Mm -hmm. That's another interesting um, um, challenge to yeah definitely in the whole industry, Web three and blockchain industry to solve. Um, gradually right exactly. can so, I add something also yeah, to the sure. previous question that you yeah. asked about like what do we want to be doing yeah, sure so beyond onboarding more people into web3 mm -hmm. in an easy way we also we really want to help creators figure out a way to monetize independently so that's really the mission behind bonfire because right now what happens is that creators are creating all of this content and they're living on social media platforms that depend on algorithms that um, maybe they get blacklisted for no reason, you know, their, their content gets demonetized. Or, um, for example, if you're a musician, you get 0 0.003 to 0 0.006 cents per stream That's right. on Spotify. So what are the alternative ways where we can support the creator economy? And the solution there, one of the solutions that we see right now is, well, what about NFTs? And so you're not thinking that you need, you know, a million followers on social media, but maybe you need those 100 true fans who will be collectors who are willing to spend money on you because they just love you. They love your work. They love your content. And um, yeah, they want to be part of that inner community and you can have that direct engagement between fan and creator. That's amazing, and it's hearing about it and seeing that um, this whole project is materializing and will be creating such a, is creating and will be creating such a big impact for creators. It's just fantastic to hear it. Yeah, yeah. And what are your favorite projects? I think we see a lot of very cool projects, a lot of creators and a lot of communities. So one example, and I I brought this up earlier today in the during the workshop is, for example, Blondish who is a Web2 musician, electronic uh, producer. She has, um, she, she, she's the founder of, as well as being a musician, she's the founder of Bye Bye Plastic. And she's trying to, it's a nonprofit that's trying to eradicate or at least reduce plastic consumption, single use plastic consumption in the music industry. And recently she had a drop on Bonfire where anyone who minted this new drop also got uh, a piece of merch that she created, which is a biodegradable vinyl made out of bacteria. That's so, very interesting. So everybody is getting rewarded for that. Exactly. Yes. And it's, and it's, it's cool compounding. because you're seeing yeah. the digital world meet the physical world. Yes, fidget at all. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's so nice. Exactly. So these amazing, wonderful use cases that are budding in, they just fill me with excitement that, wow, this is all revolutionizing. Yeah. If this technology is going to create such a big impact. Yeah, yeah. For and even for, we have podcasters being, yeah. as well on Bonfire. So, right. like, even that's something that you can think about oh, of like okay. actually minting yeah. podcast mm -hmm. NFT, yes. setting up your own page so you people, your listeners can become collectors, mint directly. Um, and then from there, you can like token gate exclusive content. So the behind the scenes of 
Uh, or... I would love to talk to you and Luis about it because I was just having this chat with Luis yesterday evening and he also gave me the similar idea of that I can do the same with the podcast and I would love you guys to help me strategize that yeah. so you certainly have to have a chat maybe later when you're available after after the speaker panels and yeah, so yeah, on we, we need to have the chat, chat about it because there, it. there are so many opportunities in it mm-hmm. yeah and yeah so, t- uh, so when did your web3 and crypto journey started Mm. yeah so probably Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say like two years ago is when I when something clicked but it was always through the lens of creator economy Um, so I was following a lot of like Legion's work and she's a VC specific to she like her focus is specific creator economy and she was talking about what I mentioned around like well what are the alternatives for creators to monetize in different ways and um, so that intrigued me because my background is it w- was in art, is in art, and uh, so I, I have been thinking about the creator space th- through other angles um, throughout my life. And yeah, and then just kind of started seeing things happen on Twitter. I, I, think, uh, I think some of the playfulness of crypto world also intrigued me. Although now I think I, I'm now that I work in it, I'm a little bit more critical of like some of the memes and the some problem, of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think mm-hmm. initially there there was something playful that I that yeah. I really liked, and yeah. yeah. And then soon after, mm-hmm. I found Bonfire and have been working with them for a year and a half now. Interesting. And as a content creator and a community lead at Bonfire, so how does the day to day look like? Yeah. yeah. So we're a very small team. Mm-hmm which means that there's a lot to do, lots of different things to be doing at the same time. But my day-to-day looks like being in touch with the creators and uh, knowing what's going on with them, Mm -hmm. helping them understand how to use the product. So creating a lot of guides, a lot of support material so that they know what new features are out, how they can improve their bonfire sites, uh, communicating that across our channel. So be it through our newsletter, we have a couple of Uh, closed groups as well and uh, Twitter and yeah 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 interesting and would you also like to share the success story uh, an experience that you know stands out or something you love that one of the client or the customer or the user of Bonfire ever uh, talked about or a type of feedback or just success story well I think it's I feel very, it's very rewarding actually to work at Bonfire because we get a lot of very positive feedback from creators. Um, I think they're so happy with the product, you know, we really, yeah, they really are. So the thing that we most hear is like how easy it is to use and how you're able to really bring everything under one hub, one home. So that's really, um, that's a decision that we've made as a team of to be really open. So you can embed content from all over um, and bring it to your bonfire site. So we really wanna work alongside all of these other platforms. We're not trying to compete. We're really trying to like yes. bring it all together. You know, right. and that's the beauty of a Web3 space that there is not that com- competitive aspect to it. It's more community, learning, growing together, mm-hmm. evolving together and supporting each other. Yeah. And that's the beauty of this space all together. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Yeah. And oh, and the, mm-hmm. the other thing that I think yeah. is, uh, rewarding and that creators talk a lot about is mm-hmm. we've made it very easy to for creators to customize their site to their own brand because we want to be white label we want to just be there to support the creators so whatever they want um, they can add their branding they can add their logo to their site they can remove the bonf- all of the bonfire stuff and um, just tweak it to their needs yeah interesting and also uh, we need products like bonfire and as soon as possible because when we look back in in time so we in uh, we had excel being launched in 1990 and in 2003 we have wordpress being launched and then 2020 now is the time when it's a, is a rise of the uh, platforms the no code no code platforms uh, like webstudio.so uh, i'm always talking about them because they are making it so easier for users um, of the blockchain and web3 to create the dapps uh, without the code being involved in it and the similar um, business model or the objective is what Bonfire is trying to solve as well uh, with no code being involved into building the 
at the tools that facilitate users to and create an impact for them. Mm -hmm. Am I right in understanding in yeah, my yeah, approach? Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. So I think we need more of these tools in Web3 space um, to and, and faster than how it happened in the Web2 space to, to build them and uh, facilitate these enthusiasts, NFT enthusiasts or Web3 enthusiasts and people who are just kicking off their projects or in the startup stage for the NFT artists to, to to use these platforms quicker, more efficiently, and get facilitated. Exactly, and yeah, that's actually one of the reasons mm. that brought me here today. So not, of course, I want to introduce Bonfire to everyone. I, I absolutely love the product, so I want everyone to be using it. But um, beyond that, I also want to show all of the hackers who are these like incredible engineers that they need to be thinking about who they're building for, and they're not necessarily building for the techies, they might be building for people who don't know how to code, don't want to know how to code. So, um, yeah. Have you had a chance to speak to a few hackers on the first floor? A little bit, a, a little, little bit. bit, yeah. So They're quite you, busy. Yeah, they're so very I busy. Do, I don't want to yeah. bother. No. <laughs> right, so maybe we'll, we'll go around the lunchtime to have a quick uh, chat with the hackers there because I, we haven't got a chance to speak to them about what they're doing, their mm -hmm. projects. Yesterday they were a bit discreet about, no, mm -hmm. go away, we don't want to share with you at the moment, we're not ready. Yeah, 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 right. they're focused. Yeah, so what's up next for you? What's your vision for Web3? Mm -hmm. And uh, your how do you see Bonfire evolving in 2023 mm -hmm. and in the, in the near future? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a big question. Yeah, that's I a very big gonna, question. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to keep building in this mm -hmm. in this direction of like, how do we keep making it simpler? How do we keep um, removing any barrier so that we can include more and more of the Web two Web two point five creator as well as the fan? Um, so okay. that's the and and now as you have mentioned Web two point five. Can you uh, tell us more about Web two point five? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, this is the first uh, time I'm hearing it from you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the, yeah. the place between the Web 2 and the Web 3. Yeah. It's like, how do, we, how do we reduce the complexity of Web 3 by making it seem very Web 2 without, while still being Web 3? Yeah, very interesting. So, Mariana, as Bonfire is a startup, and it's fantastic to work with a startup because then, as in your role, as an individual, you're involved in so many different aspects of the project, so many different roles and responsibilities. So as a team, so collaboration is so important when it comes to building a feature and coming together and brainstorming and coming up with new ideas and creativity. So how does your team collaborate and add value to everything that you do at Bonfire? Sure. Yeah. So we come together every quarter to talk through um, what do we think should be the next features that we should build. So it is quite horizontal. Everyone has a seat at the table. As I said, small team, so we're less than 10 people, and most of us are engineers. And we just we just kind of, it's really just a brainstorm. So there's no, no stupid questions, no stupid ideas. We take our sticky notes or a fig jam and just put everything out in the open. And we also have offsites where we, because we're a fully remote team, so we meet in person. We try to do that also once every quarter or at least like three times a year, where a lot of those brainstorming sessions happen in person. And then we go through all of the ideas and we each vote on the ideas that we think are the strongest. And from that, uh, we have our founders, Matt and Mel, who will filter through and make that final decision of what should we be building next according to the resources that we have. Um, we also sometimes have to include like partnerships that are coming in. So that's, that's the process. And we always want to include, we're very, we want to build in public. So um, you can see our roadmap and you can vote on our roadmap and we are make ourselves super available. Everyone in the team makes themselves super available to talk about Bonfire. Um, and to receive feedback. So we get a lot of our users just telling us what they want and then that makes it a lot easier to actually build the right thing. That's very interesting and, and it's so important to have the user feedback from the very early stage and being constantly being able to engage with the users mm -hmm. and that's when we uh, build better products and uh, 
uh, yeah, focused on customers' needs, and that's where the product discovery as well happens. Yeah. So about the conferences, let's go to conferences. So how do you find these con conferences to be, and do you have other conferences planned or events planned that you're attending? Yeah, so, yeah. So I I love conferences. I find them super inspiring because you're just meeting people who are very passionate about the industry. And um, so I think it's a great place to connect, to get ideas, to make new friends. And I think especially if you go to a couple of them, you start to actually forge some, some real relationships that you're just meeting around the world. So um, it's quite cool. And I think uh, a creative melting pot. Right. And in terms of other plans, so I have NFC coming up in Lisbon. That's the non-fungible conference. And um, later on this year, there's ETH Lisbon happening. And hopefully I can sneak in maybe like a ETH Barcelona. Interesting. Yeah. Right. So, so. this NFC, non-fungible conference. conference, that's interesting. So non-fungible tokens, uh, fungible and non-fungible. Fungi Non-fungibles are NFTs, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. that's, it's not going to be all focused on NFTs. Yes, aspect. exactly. Wow. So it's going to be a big creator one. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah. yeah, and there is so much of knowledge, so much of so much of wisdom in these conferences. Mariana, it was lovely to meet you yesterday, and it's so nice to have you here today with us and to hear all about from you on your involvement in Web3 and the great work that you and your team are doing and in your project. And wish you all the best with all the future endeavors in Web3, as well as all the best to your project and, and the and the roadmap. Uh, going forward. Awesome. Thank you so much. This has been lovely it's and uh, excited to chat with you more about uh, being a podcaster on Bonfire. Yes, absolutely. I will love that opportunity. Let's explore it together. Thank you. It was a lovely conversation.